Live from Valley, North Carolina, join us for our annual Thanksgiving feast here on Charlie's in 2018. No need to cook a turkey for this year. We're serving up a handful of exciting races for you on an exciting time team play. So here to help get things started is the host of our Jet Racing 2018, our very own Thanksgiving program mayor, Brandon Shaddings. And thank you, Paul. Welcome to our Thanksgiving Feast fans of Valley. How's anyone doing today? I hope you're bundled up one more sign feast. Yes, we are. And how will they pass up? So glad you can join us for our annual Thanksgiving Feast as we present week 20 here on Charlie's in 2018. And it's a very special day because the staff has just released its first playoff rankings for both individual and tag team and women's division playoffs for the season. Paul, I know you're excited to feel those rankings, so tell us all about the first playoff rankings of the season. Right, at your service, Brandon. So, as of this date, the four child tied with the best record at 12 and 8 on the defending third place final with Square Melee, Steve Wigman, F1 Kingsley, and Raymond Hill. While Joe Baffley, Chris Knuckles are defending World Champion Dominics and Dave Moore tied for the second best ranking with 10 and 10. And as for the tag team action, Ralph Dennis and Peter Foles have the command of the lead with 5 and 1, while Ben Stinson and Greg Miller, Don Williams and Luke Green, and Alvin Drew and Chris Manongos are in the hunt with second place at 4 and 2. So no matter who wins this one, it's sure to be an exciting one throughout the rest of the season. Back to you, Brandon. Alright, and let's serve the first piece of our Thanksgiving feast with race number 1 here in Valley, North Carolina. Right. At the start off, we have Gary Coles and the fastest swimmer Buster Javo battling against the 2016 Rising Stars champion Joshua Samoy and Zach Arson. Our races will be held, like always, on the Emerald Quest. We dedicate this episode to all of our fans across the US, Canada, and across the world for, for watching us this special day. So thanks for your support, and without further ado, let's have a challenge! The opening feast of our 2018 Thanksgiving episode is underway. And right now, the two teams are making their way towards the palm trees, trying to impress the Valley North Carolina crown here this week. And right now, the four channels are going to shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut cheek fruit. And now, they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Zach Orson. He is going to have command lead up in the front. And Buster Jumbo is going to That means Zach Orson only has to worry about. Gary Coles for the morning. And it looks like he is going to be heading for the water. And so is Gary Coles as the first superstar against Beavers on our Thanksgiving Feast episode on Challenge in 2018. It's the 2016 Rising Stars champion, Joshua Samuel, who's taking the witness. And number seven was Susan all the way in back. So now he'll be left behind in the competition. He is planning to take the water, and he flew a little too far. He decided to drop down in the water. So now he has a lot of catch up to do in the early month. As Gary Coles, who is chewing on Buster Java at the come one, will ask Beavis number two of this feast. And right now it is Zach Orson who's going to get tailgated by Buster the Javo. That swimming is a key factor, and I believe Buster Javo, if he keeps it up, he'll be able to get an easy way to make it for sure. Anyway, number seven gets some help after failing to make it to the top of the hill. He needed that because and he got it, but he's still way behind in the competition all the way back. Looks like Joshua Samuel also really needs help every right now and then. We passed the one minute mark, and who will get the next command speed It's number two! That was a good speed us right there, good job. And he dominates over the five, four, seven chow with fifth place. Meanwhile, it's like ours it has a little bit more room ahead of Buster the Java getting goals. But Buster Java should surely make the important key fighter for swimming. We'll soon know if it'll pay off in the only one. I think it will. Next BS belongs to number one, who is bowing with number seven and number eight for D Life all the way back. So now number seven and number eight will be bowing for D Life. And it's gonna be number eight who will get some help. Leaving poor number seven and us. And back with fun. Zach Arson and Gary Coast are both going to rest. That means Buster the Java, the fastest swimmer of the league, will have command of the league. I do believe he is gonna get the victory this week. No doubt about it, folks. Well, Zach Arson scored against Pimas, but Buster Jumbo should be saying bye-bye anymore now. There he is, bye-bye. 
He is swimming like crazy here, folks. He is going to get the victory this week for his tag team. As number seven takes his second to be the race, you can tie him one off with Buster Jowo as he leads Gary Goals for the victory. So now Buster Jowo is 9 and 12 in his 21 races so far. And number one will get his second speed bus race. And number seven will join the other Sir John for the right on the way back. As the race comes to a close. Alright, so with that swing ability, Buster John and Gary Goals win this one. That's right, but we're just getting started here, folks. We'll still have another piece of our piece in just a little bit. But first, let's hear one from this. Alright, that was the first race. Now it's time for race number two. And for race number two, Brandon, we have Jason Hill and Nick Gimmick versus Max Lack Sandsburg and a Jersey Devil John Stevenson. Last time we will get the lineup for this next race. There they are. And we wish the best of luck to the next two teams on their quest for victory. Here we go. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. And we start the race. Go. So let's see who's gonna come up on top in this next race. Right now we have the 2014 Tag Team Champions battling against Max and John at the Cat Warrant. Let's see what happens here. As the four child make their way towards the palm trees to bring down their coconut chink fruit. And now they're gonna eat the fruit. And there goes Jason Hill. He is gonna lead over the competition at the Cat Warrant. What's going to happen here? We'll find out soon enough as Max Lex Sandsburg, who was dancing to the beat, went to no opening toss this time around. And right now, number one is also dancing to the beat. So he'll be left behind on the competition all the way in the back. Poor number one is getting all alone in the last place behind the pack. As PS number two in this race, we may buy the gimmick, who is leading Jason Hill at the cover more over at the bridges. And right now, Nick Gimmick and Jason Hill are making way towards the bridges. And down goes Jason Hill. Good thing he did fall in the water. And number seven will get a turn out. And he's trying to take away second place from Nick Gimmick. Number two going has to lead. Ahead of number seven. And right now, number one is still way behind. Number eight seems like he needs some help as well. Which one man is going to get some help? It's going to be number one. As we approach the one minute mark in this race. Meanwhile, it looks like... Jason Hill is trying to defend the lead over number 7, and he uses the rest. And so is John Stevenson. That means Nick Gimmick and Max Sandsburg will move up a couple places that time. So now Nick Gimmick will have command of the best position of the place, as he will have the next command of us. That makes his second speed bus for the base. And right now it is number 8, who is getting left behind on the competition. And Max Lack Sandsburg is going to, so he'll drop down a couple of places. So now he has a lot of catching up to do in the only one. That means he needs a couple of speed bus if he wants to get back in this one. And this is the first of them that makes his second speed bus for the base. Meanwhile, Nick Gimming is trying his best to defend the lead over the best position so far. He's going fair place behind his Ponergy's Hill. And this time, Max Lack Sandsburg goes one consecutive. As the HR make their way towards the wall, poor number one and poor number eight are getting left behind on the competition all the way in the back. They're getting left behind the competition for short. And Max Lux Sandsburg is one. As he will have a third consecutive speed buzz. Try that way to get back in this one. And right now it looks like, look at this. Nick Gibbons is going to have command lead for the second time in this race because number seven was one. And now he is flying towards the home stretch. Tron, now trying to defend the lead. And a fourth consecutive speed bus by Max Lack Sandsburg. But it looks like Nick Gimmick is going to lead Jason Hill towards the victory. Nick Gimmick is going to come in first, and Jason Hill will come in second place. So, as John Stevenson makes one last ever with the next guy as PS, Nick Gimmick rolls off him to whip Jason Hill towards the victory. I knew Nick Gimmick would find a glue this week. He goes Jason Hill to an easy victory. Poor number one has no hope of surviving whatsoever. That's my Paul. They're giving girls to never give up. And we'll have another side race after this. So stay tuned. The fun is just getting started here on our Thanksgiving feast. And 
and he is race number three on week 20. Cool ride, man, Brandon. Anyway, race number three will feature the defending runners up, Dawn Reigns and Lou Green, taking on Corey Sarchester and Awen Magetta. Donald Reigns and Luke Green trying one step closer to getting towards a second chance at a tag team championship this year. Let's see if they can make it happen. Let's mock this place. And it looks like Luke Green is going to That means Corey Sanchez and Eddie Rajai will have a 2 on 1 advantage. We'll soon find out if they're opening edge for pay off or not in the early one. Right now, Corey, Adrian, and Donald are defending world champion. Are going to shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut tree fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And they're going to start on Venning, especially down the line. And look at that. Corey Sanchez is dancing to the beat. And Adrian Janet is snoozing. So that means Star Venning's will have full control in this match. And it looks like he is going to be heading towards the water. Trying to get his team once they're closer towards the redemption this year. As the first superstar against Beepers is number two. Who can forget about resting? He keeps on going. Number one decided to take a rest. And now he's getting left behind in the gap position due to that rest. Now he has a lot of catch up to do. As Beepers number two in his face, we may buy Luke Green, who is cheering on Darling to come win. And Darling winning this score rest. That means Corey Sanchester will have the privilege to battle with him before the lead up in the front as the two make their way towards the top of the hill. And who will get the next coming ass Beavis? We're about to find out right now. Any minute now, and there it is. It's number eight who have the next coming ass Beavis. Trying to leave number one in the dust. We passed the one minute mark of this race. Poor number one really need a lot of speed bus to get back in this one. But who really got the next command speed bus? It is going to be number seven who gets it. Leaving poor number eight and thus. Meanwhile, it looks like Dom Reddings has a commanding lead. And it looks like a Corey Sanchez is going to rest. As Luke Green will get another turn. That makes the second speed bus the race. He is chewing on Dawn Rennings, trying to get a second chance to win a tag team championship this year. Poor number one still really needs some help and I mean now. But it's number seven. Who will get his second speed bus on the base? At back with fun, Dawn Rennings has made his way towards the top of the top of the wall. And so is A Jenna who is right behind him on his tail. And it looks like Anyway, Jenna is going to ask, yeah. So, Dawn Reigns should have an easy victory up in the front. No doubt about it. Back to number seven. And now he dominates over the four seven child with battling for three over the four seven child. And Dawn Reigns has his face all up the ladies and gentlemen. No one is going to catch up to Dawn Reigns in time. As number two takes his second speed rest of the base, Dawn Reigns and Luke Green are going to move one step closer towards fulfilling the redemption for the 2019 Tag Team Championship. Dawn Reigns and Luke Green are our winners. That was an easy win for Dawn Reigns leading Luke Green towards the victory. Well done by these two partners. They in the process will never give up this season. As number one finally gets the speed rest, but he's still way behind in the competition all the way back. And that, my friends, is going to do it. So, Donald Reddings and Luke Green are now at 5-2 and two after 7 months. That's right, one more win and I'll definitely make the playoffs for sure. We'll soon we'll know what happens in the area one. Back in the bit, do not go away. Hope you enjoyed a great feast so far, fans. Long times we have for race number 4. Race number 4 will feature the 2017 Tag Team Champions, Alvin Jr. and Chris Uncles, against the senior Alvin Heenan and his brother Danielle Heenan of the Steel Drive. So let's see what happens this time around. Who will be thankful enough to win this race? We're about to find out right now. Please start the race. And Chris Uncles is going to rest, which means the Steel Drive, Al Heenan Sr. and Daniel Heenan will have a 2 on 1 advantage. Over the junior Alvin Heenan and the Cowboys. The two Alvin Heenans and Danielle Heenan are making their way towards the palm trees to bring down that coconut tree fruit. The fans are cheering on their tag teams and hopes to survive the best of reaching the tag team playoffs at the end of the season. 
And it looks like Daniel here is going to have full control of this match. One more. Because both Alvin Jr. and Alvin Sr. are dancing to the beat. As number two wins the win toss this time around, catching up to Alvin Jr. for third place. And right now, number one is dancing to the beat, and number seven wants to go to rest. So these two channels are going to be left behind in the competition for a while. And who will get to be with number two in this race? It's number eight, who, who's also getting left behind the competition after taking out. And guess who took a shortcut trying to stay alive in the rankings? It's Alvin Jr., the junior Alvin here, as a matter of fact. As number two will get another turn, that makes his second speed burst in the base. Curry leading over the four seven child fifth place. Daniel here had the upper hand, but now he gave way to lead to Alvin Jr. after he took a shortcut. We'll soon know if you make a miracle comic or not. As we head back into number two, who dominates over the four seven child in fourth place. Good domination so far for number two. And by now numbers one seven eight are battling for do I all the way back. And numbers 1 and 7 are both passing for 1. That means they need a lot of help early on as we pass the 1 minute mark. And it will be the number 1 who will get that chance. Right now it is Alvin Jr. who has the commanding lead as he heads for the wall. Meanwhile, Daniel Hina is battling with Chris Finalcos in about for second place. Will Daniel Hina get enough distance to make the miracle comeback from Alvin Jr.? Or will Alvin Jr. get another easy victory? We'll find out in the early one. Back to number one. That makes two in a row by two in a row for number two and number one respectively. And he is doing number seven and eight in the dust. Pulling number seven and pulling number eight both doing the SPMAS. But it's going to be Danielle Heaton of the Steel Drive who will get in the next couple of SPMAS. Well, as always, next time for Steel Drive, Al here Jr. is all alone in the lead. And he is going to lead Chris Fernandez towards an amazing victory. As the senior out here takes the next turn at he and Danielle won't be able to catch up to the junior out here in time. Alvin Jr. and Chris Monacos are our winners. Now they approve the 5 and 2. So now they are one step closer of getting a chance at the second title in the last three seasons. Well done. And it looks like Alvin Senior will get back to Max Pivas. And that is going to do it. As we take one last look at numbers 178, we'll continue the battling for the life in the back. All right, Alvin and Jr. and Chris Finocos will be one step closer towards another title shot. That's why I hope that this run will be the very best. We'll be back after these messages, so stay tuned. All right, and time for race number five. You got it. Race number five will feature the defending third place finalists, Kyle Richman and Bobby K, against the AC Gamble Tire Fox and 2018 Senior Class Rookie Chip Subay. Both of these teams struggled to get some wins, so one of them has to get a win for sure this week. We'll soon know who will be fortunate enough to get that win this week. Everyone's on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright, so there goes the next two teams pressing down the line. Each of these teams only had two wins in a six months so far, but one of them is going to approve the three and four this week. Which team will get that chance? We'll find out soon enough. And like we always say, anything can happen in the Channel Racing Universe, especially when we are thankful for all of our superstars and fans and staff here in Channel Racing 2018. Thank you for all your support for this Thanksgiving holiday. And right now, Tyler Fultz has a huge win heading into the home stretch. And he's going to be heading for the water as the first superstar against the bus is Kyle Richman. And he pinned off the shortcut, folks. Tyler Fox has reached the top of the wall. And now he has a commanding lead for Chip Subay to come on. Well done. As Kyle Richman opens this one up with back to back speed Right now, number two is getting left behind in the competition, but he is better to take the water, trying to maintain some ground in the only one. There he goes, he's swimming like crazy in the only one. He is trying his best to stay alive, and who will get the next command speed bus? It's number seven, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. I think he needs a lot more help than that. Tyler Fox has a huge ring up in the front. Meanwhile, it looks like Bobby K is trying to hold off Chip Survey for an easy second place. We're passing the one minute mark in this race. Bobby K might need a miracle to get back in this one. We'll soon find out if he will get that chance as we head back into number seven. That makes two in a row by two in a row 
for Kyle Richmond and number seven respectively. All speedruns are consecutive so far, and and Tyler Falls has reached the top of the wall. No one is going to catch up to him in a hurry. Back to number seven. Once again, he's trying his best to stay alive in the game. Right now, Bobby Kane is reaching the top of the wall. It will be a miracle to catch up to the others in a hurry. But right now, all eyes are on number seven. As he gets a fourth consecutive speed runs, and now he is doing numbers one and two in the dust. And back with fun. Tyler Falls has a huge re heading into home stretch. As Chip Sube well the next command because his team is going to have the W this week. Bobby K won't have enough distance to catch up to Tyler Fox in time. And there you have it, folks. Tyler Fox assists Chip Sube for the victory. As the next viewers we made by number seven, who wakes him right now, and he's still really near to catch up in the hurry. And that makes his fifth speed bus to the base. And right now, number two is going to rest. Tyler Fox is showing having a great time with that win. As Chip Sube will get another turn, that makes it second speed bus race, and he will wind up with a victory with second place. Number two has no hope for surviving whatsoever. I don't think we'll have time for another speed bus on this race. Nope. This race is finito. Done. So, with that win, Tom Fox and Chip Sube now have three wins. That's why they're trying their best that they can make the cut for next season's 2019 roster. Keep up the good work, folks. Back in a bit, do not go away. And we'll be halfway through our Thanksgiving course at the race number six. That's why, right. and for race number six, we have the Dazzling Aces, John Miller, and Fred Henson against Casey Wilson and Carl Tata. And here's who are going to run up for this next race. Let's see what happens here. Who is going to be one step closer towards coming back next season? We're about to find out right now. Everyone's on the clock, and please start the base! <coughs> okay, the next two teams are on their way through the Valley North Carolina track that we built with each and every week here on Channel in 2018. And now in the fourth channel, we're going to make their way towards the palm trees. They're going to bring down that cooking and chief fruit. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes the Dazzling Aces, busting down the line. And it looks like Carl Tanner is dancing to the beat. And right now, number eight is going to rest, so he'll drop down a couple places. And as Fred Henson and John Miller head for the water, it is number seven who wins the opening toss. <coughs> <coughs> and right now, number one is going to rest. And a couple of other child on taunting from the wind. Number one is going to rest, so he'll be left behind in the competition for a while on the way back. As he will get speed bus number two in his face, but that wasn't a lot at all. And right now, John Miller is leading the Dazzling Aces to a commanding lead over Casey Remonson and the Cam Wind. <coughs> As the next speed bus win made by number two, and that was enough to take the lead over the fourth third child with fifth place. Poor number one, meanwhile, is still way behind in the competition all the way in the back. He's getting left behind on the others in a hurry. <coughs> we passed the one minute mark. I do believe he's going to need a couple more speed bursts if he wants to get back in this one. And this is the first of them. That makes his second speed burst on the base. Will we get some more? We'll find out soon enough. Meanwhile, Casey Mimos and Carantana are trying their best to make a comeback against the Dazzling Aces in a hurry. <coughs> Casey and Carl trying their best to stay alive. And who will get the next speed bus? It's going to be number eight who gets it. Now I'm trying to lead number one in the dust all the way in the back. At back of the front, John Miller is currently leading over Red, Carl Tanner. But Carl Tanner is rapidly make a comeback. And so is Casey Hermanson. As Carl Tanner takes the next command speed Watch out, John Miller! Carl Tanner is catching up to you! <coughs> and right now, number 1 and 8 are climbing up for a while. As Van Harrison will get the next command. Yes, trying to take the lead away from Carl Tanner. Carl Tanner trying to battle with both Van Harrison and John Miller of the Dazzling Aces. At the camera moving as he head for the whole stretch. As he will get another turn. That makes it! Second speed runs of the race. Well, it looks like Fred Henson is going to have the lead, and John Miller is going to have second place. 
Call Tanner, might need a meal go. If they want to make a meal go, come on, get a hurry. And this time he goes for consecutive. And he makes the pass from the Dazzling Aces. And he rips Casey from my center towards a meal go victory. Unbelievable effort by Carl Tanner. <clears throat> Three speed bus, including back to back at the home stretch to beat out the Dazzling Aces in hurry. And Casey Mimason is, smile, is smiling for Carl Tanner at the come one. He and Carl Tanner are going to walk away with a victory. That's right. So now they are at 4 and 3. They're about 5 by them once again. And one of another side race after this. So stay tuned. The fun is just heating up. Alright. One half of the course is in the books. Now it's time for the second course of our Thanksgiving feast. That's why, right, and we'll be getting the second half with race number seven, featuring the Crescent Go Getters, Antonio Bennett and Chris Schneider versus the success to Jeff Nevins and Frank Fonatal. So let's continue our Thanksgiving feast here in Raleigh, North Carolina. The fans are ready, the staff is ready as well. So this is stars. So let's have a challenge. Okay, there goes the Crescent Go Getters and Jeff Nevins and Frank Fonatal pressing down the line. Through the rainbow path that's purely decorated with each and every race at the starting gate. And right now, the four chair are going to check the power trees to bring down that coconut chick fruit. There they are. And now they're going to eat the fruit. And there goes Jeff Now it's he is going to have coming out only up in the front. Number two will be bowing with Antonio Ben for second place to come one. And he's going to rest. So now, Frank Ronto will move about with Antonio Ben for second place. And it looks like Jack Nevis and Antonio Bennett are heading for the water. As Chris Schneider of the Classic Go Getters wins the only toss to start the second half of the races here in Valley, North Carolina. And right now, number one is going to rest all the way in the back. So he'll be left behind once again, battling for dear life all alone in the pack. Now he has a lot of catching up to do in the only one. He's trying desperately to get back in this one. As he will have speed rest number two this race. Now try to catch it to number 8 for do I for where the bridges. Right now in the front, we have Jeff now and scaring some company. Both members of the classic go getters are making way. And Antonio Ben is going rest. As the next beer we made by number 2, who dominates over the 4 7 child with 4 plays. Number 7 is getting left behind the competition. But as we pass the 1 minute mark, guess who really is getting left behind? It's numbers 1 and 8, that's 2. And number 1, Tarts for 1. As he will get another turn, that makes his second speed bumps of the race, but he's still in last place behind number 8. Meanwhile, Krishna is starting to feel in the groove again, and so is Antonio Bennett. They're both catching up to the success to Japanese. What's gonna happen? We'll find out soon enough. Next beer belongs to Frank Vanatal. He's trying to cheer on Japanese, who is in the lead of the come one. Well, poor number 1 and poor number 8, both really need some help. They don't want to get left behind for number 7 all the way in back. Which one of them will get that chance? It's number 1 who gets it. So here we pour number 8 and us. That makes his best be better to the race. And right now, Jeff Nice has control on the wing. And Christian Nice is going to rest. That means Jeff Nice will have full control of this match. One one. But here comes from Chris Schneider with the next command speed bus. That makes it in second speed bus race. And Jeff Nice pauses for one. That means the classic go girls will catch up to do. And he is going to rest. That means Antonio Bennett will have command on the lead. Christian will move up to second place. As the next speed bus we made by... Number one! That makes his fourth speed bus of the race. And now he can say sign now to number seven in sixth place. And right now Antonio Bennett has his race all wrapped up for the classic go guys. Frank Vartar won't have enough distance to catch up to Antonio Bennett in time. As... Number 8 finally gets a turn with the next command speed bus. Tell me what not for the Craft to Go Gas. Our Tony Ben holds our Frank Martin to a Chris Schneider of the Craft to Go Gas towards the midway. So now they are at 4 and 3. They are about 500 again. And they have a good chance of coming back next season if they keep it up. But right, let's hope for the very best for the Craft to Go Gas. Coming up, we got more song action for you. But first, have a look at this. Alright, Paul, let's simple it up. Race number eight. Okay, race number eight will feature the Dave's Brothers, Tommy and Kenny, against the current tag team leaderboard. Ralph Dennis appeal falls with an impressive 5 and 1 record after six months. 
heading into this week's race. So let's see if they can make it 6-1 this month. Go out to the next two teams on a quest for victory, and let's rock this place! Okay, so Ralph Dennis and Theo Falls look to retain the number one seed in the 2018 playoff run for the 2019 playoff season. And right now, the two teams are making their way towards the Padres to bring down their coconut chief fruit. The fans are showing Bono up and cheering off for the fair tag teams in hopes of reaching the 2019 tag team playoffs at the end of the season. Right now, it looks like Ralph Dennis will come in early, following in a close second by Tommy Day. So, the day's was. And it looks like they're both heading for the water, trying to maintain the ground in the only one. As the first superstar gets speed best is, the computer with the pure falls. He's also heading for the water. And right now, a couple of Stuart Shaw getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. Number one decided to stick with the Britons, so it will be a miracle for him to catch him in the heli. And who got speed best number two? It's Big Cherry Tommy Days with the Days He should sit in second place behind our leader, Ralph Dennis. Ralph Dennis looking to lead Pierre Falls to 6 and 1 for this month's tag team action. Ralph Dennis trying to hold on to a press lead as the next beer is made by Kenny Days with the Days Brothers. Ralph Dennis and someone's going to rest. It's Peter Falls who just took a shortcut. So now he will have a commanding lead over his partner, Ralph Dennis. Yeah, Peter Falls took a shortcut and he paid off his strategy. So now he will have a command on the lead. And we passed the one minute mark in this race. And who will get the next command SP runs? It's number eight who dominates over the four Stuart Chow with four plays. Right now, the other three Stuart Chow, numbers one, two, and seven, are all fighting for d life all the way back. And Kenny Day is with us. So he'll drop down to last place over the competition right now. As the next PS point made by number one, who leaves the other Stuart Chow and Kenny Day and us. Meanwhile, back up in front, Peter Falls is leading Ralph Dennis to a first and second place respective positions of a performance so far, so far they've done pretty good. Will Peter Falls hold on for a minute midway? We'll find out soon enough. Next Peter belongs to number seven, who is the Curry in fifth place here on pack. And right now Kenny is getting up behind. And down he goes with a count. That's gonna count Sam Sam. Well he is gonna hit the wall, so no help for Kenny at all. I highly doubt he'll get any wins for the entire season so far. And who got the next one? It's back to number 8, who continues to show pure domination over the fourth to a chow with four points. And Peter Falls has his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to leave Ralph Dennis to a 6 and 1 this, whip, this month. Ralph Dennis and Peter Falls are our winners as Kennedy's a little disappointed with the loss. We'll get another job. That makes it a second few of the race. So Ralph Dennis and Peter Falls improved to 6 and 1. If they win next month's race as well, they sure have the number one seed in the 2019 Tag Team Powers. Let's hope for the very best next month. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus on this race, and it will be made by number one. That makes it his second speed bus on the race, but he's left behind in the competition behind number two. Alright, so Ralph Dennis and Peter Falls are now one win away from clinching the number one seed in the 2019 Tag Team Playoffs. That's why Candy win next month. We'll soon know. Back in a bit. Do not go away. All right. Welcome back to our show. Still to come, we'll serve the main dish in our Thanksgiving course, where we present the main event this week. And Vince Dyson and Grand Molly look for their third and final tag team of the month honors as they continue for a repeat title search this year. But right now, let's simple it up. Race number nine. And Paul's good times all by it. <clears throat> Yes, race number 9 will feature the go Gators 2.0. That is Vicky Nelson and Rusty Eastern Weaver Jenkinson against Raymond Hill and Michael Grayson. The players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock. And please start the race. Here we go. And it was like number 7 is going to rest. So he will be right behind in the crowd. And I do believe number 2 is going to join number 7 for d life on the way in the back. The four jar up in the front have reached the other side of the rainbow path and now they're going to shake the palm trees to bring down that coconut chip fruit and now they're going to eat the fruit and it looks like Rusty Instinct with Ben Jackson is dancing to the beat and so is Michael Grayton. That means it's Raymond Hill versus Vicky Nelson of the Go Gas 2.0 up in the front 
and it will be number one who will get the first speed bonus of this phase. He is going to be heading for the water along with Biggie Nelson, and right now number two is getting left behind in the competition. <clears throat> he is getting all alone in last place behind the pack. And who will get speed bonus number two in this phase? It's Rusty Instant with Ben Jackie Tan on the go guys 2.0. But Maymon Hill, yes indeed! Maymon Hill Pons will never give up on his dream season! He took a shortcut and now he's giving a huge lead for Michael Crazy at the Cowboys. Maymon Hill keeping up with pains in hopes of reaching the playoffs this year. Definitely to come out next season for short. Anyway, next PS win made by number 8, who desperately needs to catch up memory now and then. Number 7 seems like he's also left behind in the competition. But number two, as he went down for the cow, and we passed him one minute mark, number two is the real deal, who is way, way behind the competition. <clears throat> he is going to need a couple of speed runs to get back in this one, and this is one of them. Will we get some more? We'll find out soon enough. Raymond Hill has that commandingly up in the very fun. Meanwhile, Ricky Nelson dominates over Michael Creighton for second place, but I do believe Raymond Hill is going to win an easy one. No doubt on Next PS belongs to number 8. That makes his second speed runs to the base. And he dominates over the 4 so a child with 4 plays. Poor number 2, meanwhile, is still way, way behind in the competition. He may need a couple more speed bus than I mean now. But it's Michael Grayson who quickly makes his way towards the top of the wall with the next command PS. His partner, Raymond Hill, is off and running at the home stretch. No one's going to catch up to Raymond Hill in a hurry. As Michael Creighton gets back to back spirits, he and everyone here are going to get another easy win this week. No doubt about you, folks. Raymond Hill flips Michael Creighton towards the bed drake. So now, Raymond Hill is at 13 and 8. After some of the something walls in Seattle earlier, now he's going to get back on track. As number 2 finally gets another speed bus, but he's still way behind. That makes his second speed bus to the base. Let's see where the odds will stand. Looks like Mickey Nelson will come in second place, followed by Rusty Instant Wing by Jackie Chen in third place. Michael Grayton, who will come in fourth place, will earn a W on his scorecard, and he needs it. That's why right, Paul Raymond Hill will continue to stream season back on the right track, and so is Michael Grayton. And we'll have another side dish of our main course in a little bit, but first we'll see a word from Ness. And now, Paul, time for race number 10. Okay then, race number 10 will feature the Lucky Day Irish, Steering Man and Ram One Shorte against Dare to Play and the fastest runner of the 48 Man League, Joe Raffrey. Let's see what happens here. Time to be thankful for another side race and a fans of 82. So please start the race! And there goes Joe Raffrey pushing down the line like always. And number one is where I so he will be left behind in the crowd. Joe Raffrey is quickly making it to the palm trees to bring down his coconut shake fruit. And now he is going to eat the fruit. And he is off and running. Will anybody be able to catch up to Joe Raffrey in a hurry? We'll, we'll find out soon enough. Let's watch the other free chow now. They're eating the fruit and they're off and running. With Steve Wayne, my man, watch on they're sitting in second and third place respectively. And who will get the winning toss for this race? We're about to find out right now as there is a play has for the water. It's number two who will get the winning toss this time around. He is also heading for the water. And right now number one is trying his best to stay alive in the game. He is going to be flying towards the water. And I do believe two of our chow to the shortcut. Yep, I see two chow made it to the top of the hill. We'll see if we're sure that one will have a shortcut. As number two opens this one up with back to back speed runs. It's Steering Man followed by Dare to Play, who both took a shortcut. Steering Man currently leans over Dare to Play by a short distance. As the next speed run is made by number one, who leads over the four zero challenge for place. And right now, number eight passes from one, so he'll be left behind on the competition all the way in back. We passed the one minute mark in this race. Let's find out who will get the next command speed bus. And that next speed bus we made by number two. That makes his first speed bus of the race. Meanwhile, it looks like Joe Ravry's trying his best to stay alive. He's getting up behind and he's going to rest. It will be a mule go to make his running ability all the way back to first place. We'll soon know it will pay off in the only one. Next speed bus belongs to 
Number one, that makes sense. I can speak about this other base. Point number seven and point number eight, meanwhile, are battling for two life all the way in the back. Which one of them will get some help? It's going to be number eight who gets it. So here we point number seven does. And Steering Man, it looks like he has a little bit of room ahead of there to play. I think he is going to lead the lucky down towards an easy victory, yeah? As Joe Bradley takes the next command spears, he and Derek to probably won't have enough distance to catch up to Steering Man in time. As Ram Marshall takes the next spears, he and Steering Man are our winners. The lucky down is prevail over Derek to play and Joe Bradley. Another fine example of pure team up by the lucky down. They now improve to 5 and 2 and are trying their best to stay alive in the playoff hunt. And right now, number seven's getting left behind in the competition, like always. As the last speed bumps on this face, we may my number eight, who can say farewell to the episode of Jout in fifth place. Alright, so still we might want to battle over the shortcut of Dead to Play, and thus they leave Rugby Alex to us victory. That's why right, well done, Rugby Alex. We'll be back under these messages, so stay tuned. Alright, Paul, we got one more side dish to serve before we serve our main course. That's right, for race number 11, we have the Miller Traders, Howard and Dave Miller, against J.J. Nehemiah and Oliver Jones. <coughs> Let's see what happens for these two teams as our Thanksgiving games continues to electrify your in North Carolina. Best luck to these two teams, and let's mock this place! Okay, there goes the male trainers pressing down the line over JJ Nima and Oliver Jones. And numbers one and two are both going rest. So these two channels are gonna be left behind in the competition for a while. <coughs> and right now the four channel gonna check the final three to bring down that coconut sheep fruit. And now they're gonna eat the fruit. And there goes Harold Miller. He is gonna lead over the child to come on. Dave Miller is right on his tail in second place behind him. And as how Miller heads for the water, and so is Dave Miller, the first superstar to get speed bus is <coughs> number two, who is also heading for the water. And right now, number one is getting left uh, behind in the competition. And JJ Nehemiah is going to rest as he approaches the water. And so is number seven over at the bridges. As JJ Nehemiah, who's flying over into the water, takes BS number two in this race. By now, it is Howard Miller who has a commanding lead. Always part of Dave Miller at the current point. Howard Miller is making his way towards the top of the, of the hill. And who got the next command for us? It's Ara Jones, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. And number one taunts for one. So he will join number seven for two life all the way in the back of the pack. <clears throat> we are passing the one minute mark in this race. And let's find out who we're getting the next command spears. And that next spears we made by number one. As number eight pauses for one. Meanwhile, how Miller has a commanding lead. And Dave Miller is in second place. And right now it looks like JJ Neymar might need a mule go to get back in this one. And down goes number two, almost falling off course. That's going to cause a serious damage. As the next speedbus we made by Oliver Jones. That makes his second speedbus in the race. But I highly doubt he'll get any more wins for the entire season. He got one in tag team. But I think that's all he's going to get for the season. Yeah. <clears throat> Poor number one still really needs to help. But it's number seven who will get the next command speedbus. And right now, Hal Miller up in the top of the wall is going to ask. That means JJ Nehemiah will have the privilege to battle with him for the lead up in the front. As he makes it to the top of the wall. And number one will get a turn now. Trying desperately to get back in this one after falling left behind in the competition. JJ Nima is right on his tail. How Miller trying to defend the lead and Dave Miller is cheering him on with all his might. We'll soon know what happens in the only one. Next PS belongs to Alma Jones. That makes his first PS of the race. But I think he's going to be a little disappointed like always. Yeah. Hal Miller is going to defend the lead over J.J. Miyamoto as he approaches the finish line. <clears throat> so, as number one takes his second speaker, still trying to stay alive, it looks like the middle trails are going to hold out J.J. Miyamoto to secure the victory. They've done a pretty good job keeping up with the pace, and now they are at 5-2. and two. 
as Armor Jones, a real disappointment like always, will get another turn. That makes his point speed by the of ace, and point number one has no hope for surviving whatsoever. Alright, so the middle trainers will lead us to the main event. That's right, and we'll present that main event with our main course after we serve up this for you. Alright fans, the Yemen just went off, and the turkey is being served. So let's present week 20's main event here on our Thanksgiving feast. That's right, for this week's main event, we have our two-time returning champions and our tag team champions, Vince Dyson and Glenn Murray, and this week they'll be bowing against the Golden Star Master Gary Dayton and the Harm Ching Master, Efron Kingsley. And this week's main event is presented by Acme Markets helping all of the less fortunate families throughout the Thanksgiving and throughout the entire holiday season by donating food, cans, and bottles to all of our families across the U.S. and around the world. Happy Thanksgiving from your fans and at me, and I hope you have a safe and happy holiday season. Alright, so let's present week 20's May event, and these two teams are off and running, so without further ado, everyone's on the clock, and let's have a challenge! Alright then, Vince Dyson and Grand Murray going for the third and final tag team of the month honors while Garrett and Efron look for the first tag team of the month honors. The four child going to make the way to the palm to bring down their coconut shaped fruit and now they're going to eat the fruit and there goes Vince Dyson, Garrett Dayton and Efron Kingsley. These three chat will be bowing finally up in the front. Grandma is going to dance to the beat back in the pond race. And it looks like Gary Dayton and Ben Stainson are heading for the water as the first Super Star gets beat us. On week 20's main event presented by your Acme Supermarkets is number one as number two goes to best. So he'll drop down a couple of places. And right now number eight is heading for the water. Number seven decided to stick with the bridges all the way back. And he pauses for more. As PUS number two in this race, we may buy number two. Who's trying to make this way to get enough distance to get prime bridges. And there we go, flying a little bit. Now will get a little bit of help on number two. Right now, it has been Stacey, who is leading over the Gonzo Master Gary Dayton and F1 Kingston, who are sitting in second and third places respectively. As we head back into number two. Can we battling with Grand Melee for four places to come win? And number A pauses for one. So he will be left behind the competition for a while. Right now, though, it is number seven who is way behind the competition. But it's Glenn Murray who will get in the next command spears. He is trying to chew on Miss Dayson, trying to get the third and final time in my odds. Right now, Darren Dayton and Efron Gangster are about to catch up to him. Watch out, Ben Dayson! They might spoil your chances on a third and final tag team them up on us. And let's see who will get the next command spears. And that next spears we made by number seven, who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. I think he needs a lot more help than that. Yep, F. R. Kingsley and Gary Dayton are trying to make the pass from Vince Dayson on the fending tag team champion. Will they steal the new and get the tag team them up on us this week? We'll find out soon enough. Back to number seven. He's still way behind the competition, and I think that's all he's going to get for a while. But we're back to back to PS. And right now, Vince Dyson and Efron Kingsley are both going to rest. That means Gary Dayton will have full control of the lead up in the front. And who got the next one? It is Glenn Murray. That makes this. I can speak about this in the race. But I do believe Gary Dayton is going to lift Efron Kingsley to their first tag team of my eyes. Yep. Ben Dayson went a little too far flying over one. So Gary Dayton and Alpha Kingsley are going to be the new tag team of Mump Arts for the month of November. And this time, Ben Dayson goes for a consecutive. And Gary Dayton and Alpha Kingsley are our winners. So they will come back next month in December to try to do it again. And why not number seven, they can just forget about this race. So they're going to go home and again. Alright, so Garrett Dayton and Efron Kingsley are still in the game. That's why they might be able to come back next season and they win next month's race for sure. And we'll be right back when we win the special races after these messages.